Once you have given the name of the device, specified the age and chosen the avatar, it's time to start the setup process. It may look a bit intimidating, but it's easier than it seems. Kids locks need these permissions and set up stages to carry out parental controls efficiently. So hit next step. On the second screen, grant Kislox administrator access, so it can lock down the device. Tap Let's Go, and the app will direct you to the device settings. Here tap Activate this device admin app. Several warning pop-ups will now appear, but you shouldn't worry about any data exposure, as Kislox gets access only to the data needed to put into effect the restrictions set up by the parent. So tap Next Step and Accept. We are on step 3 now. This step lets Kislocks use overlays on the phone to make app blocking extra effective. Tap Let's do it. Again, the app redirects you to the native device settings and here swipe the toggle to the right to allow this permission. Now step 4. It's time to enable accessibility. This will prevent app removal. Tap Go to accessibility. Then tap Kislocks and swipe the toggle to the right. Another pop-up message will appear asking for additional permission. So tap OK. Get back to the previous menu to go on setting up the device. On step 5 it is needed to enable usage access. This is necessary to track app activity and block the device settings. Choose Let's do it. The device opens the settings where you may need to scroll down to find keys locks. Tap on it and on the next screen swipe the toggle to the right to permit usage access. Step 6 is allowing notification access. Activate it to make sure app notifications can be used to bypass the restrictions you set for your child. Tap Got it. Find keys locks in the list and swipe the toggle to the right. In the appearing pop-up message, tap Allow. Now step 7. Content blocking. This step gives keys locks access to the device, telephone and storage functions. Content blocking also requires the VPN to be enabled. Tap Activate. On the pop-up message, first tap OK, then Allow. This is step 8. Location. This is used to locate the device. If you don't need this feature, you can skip it in the upper right-hand corner. To set it up, tap Activate. On the pop-up message, tap Allow. We are almost there. The final step is to set auto start and battery settings needed for keys locks to run in the background and perform its functions non-stop. Tap Activate. Device settings will open, here swipe auto start toggle to the right and tap OK in the pop-up. Then scroll down and tap battery saver. On the next screen choose no restrictions option. This is it. Tap OK, got it. Your child's device has been added to your Kislox account and is now fully under your control. At any moment, either from the child's device or your parent device, you can open Kislox, enter your Kislox pin and choose the device in your devices list to set the desired restrictions.